already had to shut the curtains. I'm now doing a thumbnail, just an Ed's thumbnail, Mr. Laverack, my coach. Now I'm working on Phil's thumbnail for, for his next video. He won't mind me showing you. But uh, the idea behind this, he's got this lovely new bike and we have got some stunning shots. Have a look. So, I mean, yeah. The most important thing about thumbnails is the photography. I mean, that is stunning. So it's bespoke cycling. I'll put a link in up here or down there. I'll put a link in uh, just showing that off. Unfortunately, Phil had a bit of a nightmare. He w took the bike out for the first spin and had a little accident. So had a bit head on bullseyes that is it's known to the cyclist smash the windscreen on a car. So this is the first video since that. We don't want to make it too jokey. We, you know, it's something serious happened and he's very, very lucky. Um, the bike is a bit of a mess obviously, but it's got to be checked over he's a bit down about it all so uh, this is the next one we you know we wanted to do this with you know new bike day great thumbnail get everyone really excited everyone loves a bike day and unfortunately it's gone wrong so but anyway so the idea with the thumbnail is we'll have uh, I've got to cut out all the spokes so this is where I want the font so I've roughly sort of designed it sort of like that I want the font here I've added the font in in this guide so I know what to cut out so I'm not wasting time sort of cutting out all these bits where the font's not going to cover um it's, it's still a lot of work but it's nowhere near what it would have been it might not even work it might not even look good enough uh this is the trouble <laughs> with design you might spend 30 minutes doing this getting this perfect and actually afterwards going that's not right so yeah We'll check in later, and you'll you'll probably have seen this video by this time this goes out, so uh, you'll know more than me. Yeah, so Ed's thumbnail is sort of looking a bit like this, if I can scroll up. Yeah, so it's a video about, so he sort of just said to me, hi, you legend. The next video is going to be how I climbed the out the Zwift out in 34 minutes, so talking about pacing and stuff like that. I've done this nice cutout from a previous thumbnail. Let me see if I can unhook that, and yeah, I can move that wherever I want. Didn't want to cover up too much, it gets a bit cluttered if that, we want that to be nice and readable. Just jump out, we've got the branding on, which I've got from their media pack, that's all correct. The orange is perfect, Zwift orange, and it's kind of like we want people to sort of say, really, we're going to get the impression of Zwift, people are going to know it's swift orange really even though this is important and he did six watts per kilo the mentalist pacing equipment nutrition just to catch the eye really and i've also we've called it sort of out to zwift on some branding we've done well we haven't called it that that's the kind of branding i've done for ed on so we've got one with e and one without the e so oh the name is obviously an e uh, but if it, you're talking about an out then maybe it's that so i'm gonna whip these over to ed he's got a workout at four which i can't get to because it's too hot and yeah one day that was the first one and it just you know which is great this is the branding colors i just want it to jump out with the Zwift stuff. We want people to click on these and that's my job. So this is where the magic happens then. So I've sort of cut those out, I've select that, select that, and then we'll do this shortcut here. Let me just get make sure the camera's right. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, so then we'll press uh, this magic button of uh, control and number two and hmm, not quite right is it? I was hoping for a bit better than that. So um, the bike's not too bad, but the word day obviously doesn't. This is the trouble is you've kind of got to think. I'm looking at it on a, let me just, uh, you know, I'm looking at it on a huge screen. So you've got to kind of design, same with business cards really. When you design business cards, you've got to design them at the right size almost, because you could be like looking at a business card sort of design like that. Actually, when you then go to print it, get a proof done or whatever, export it. And when it's sort of tiny, it, like that's better than it is bigger. So I'll just work on it a little bit because I want to add something else. I want to add new bike day, um, how not to do a new bike day or new bike day gone wrong or alternative new bike day uh, Phil sent me a few title ideas for thumb for the video so I'll I'll kind of work on that you don't have to put the, the title in the thumbnail but you kind of have to it has to sync up a bit uh, catch the eye so uh, I'm not sure about this blue either so I'll probably just go back to white or I'll pick a blue from a darker blue maybe and I don't know something something from the bike I don't know if you can see my cursor there oh that's cool I don't know, we'll, we'll find something nice. Phil's branding's red as well, so we that's quite nice. Look that, see, that, that's the trouble. Um, I will just put a little drop shadow as well on that, just to see if that, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, check back. So there's lots of, oh, my head's so greasy. <sighs> Shall I open the window? That's probably better. Okay, so we're done, I think. Three sort of variations. I don't like doing too many variations. I make so many decisions, like with the logo, even minor decisions just to get to that stage of that final thumbnail. So when you send someone too many options, I think it overloads their brain and I need to guide them as a designer into what I think is best for their customer, what their viewer. And I've made so many choices to get to that final stage just to send them sort of three. These are very similar, so it's, it's not so much of an issue, but just to send them a few different ones is just like doing four times the amount of work, three times the amount of work so I think this is now looking good the only thing is is bike clear enough to read I'll go through them 
done new bike day to forget, new bike day, how not to do new bike day, and again, new bike day to forget, and just subtle changes. So that's blue. I mean, that is very subtle. So that's not going to jump out on the screen to the viewer. They're just going to sort of see this really. Still got a few little polishing tweaks to do under there, but very minor. You can see here, I've dragged this bit out a bit more. So I've put this font behind the wall there or the pillar. I love little stuff like that. You might not notice it as a viewer. The designers will. They'll notice that straight away and go, oh, wow, look at that extra little bit of effort and just putting that drop shadow there. Those are the things which I think just elevate thumbnails. Again, I'm not going to show you how to do all of that. You, there's better tutorials out there for that. But just giving you a little idea of one thing with thumbnails, I always make sure because of the, I don't know the stats of people that watch YouTube in light and, and a dark mode. So I always make sure I just pop my thumbnails on dark just to see if they pop. That pops lovely. Uh, I always go for the dark. That's what I use. But that pops and I think that pops nicely. Yeah, it depends how deep you want to go. I mean, we're trying to do something, trying to get more clicks in and, you know, and it's almost bringing a bit of psychology into, into the design and going, how are we going to do that? The videos are great as they are. So if we can get more first time viewers in with a decent thumbnail, that's the goal. How not to, again, bringing a bit of red in. Uh, this is Phil's sort of gradient red there. That sort of jumps out a bit much. So there we go. The, the bike jumps out, the font there. You can read that from far away. That is just like how not to. Uh, there's lots of how to guides. So, you know, how not to on YouTube. So yeah, I'm probably babbling on a bit now. So I think I will send all of these and just explain the idea behind them all and uh, go from there really. So watch out for a, for a new video soon. I'll pop these videos up as a, not a how to guide, but you know, just one, what I wanted to do is just get the thought out behind thumbnails from a designer's point of view. And you know, I watch these guys. It's really easy to, to get into the, the mind of the viewer and yeah, hopefully it'll just bring more, more viewers in and more first time viewers. Um, yeah, they're both flying. Ed and Phil are both flying at the moment, all down to the thumbnails, obviously. You know, you, you, you put a good video up, doesn't matter. If you've got a shit thumbnail, no one's going to click on it. So um, thank you very much. Um, no, it's not. It, it's just everything. It's almost like Team Sky, Team Ineos. If you can just make lots of small changes, I can't even remember what it's called marginal gains. If you can just put that into your YouTube channel and just make marginal, if you just improve your thumbnails 10%, improve your descriptions 10%, improve your titles 10%, do tag, do subtitles, post it out social media, ask people to like it, ask people to share it. You're going to improve a lot. So work on everything. And that's what I do with my own thumbnails. I'm going to go back through and do my own thumbnails soon when I've got, when I've got four hours to spare, usually between sort of 3am till 7am. You know, if I can get four hours there, I will go and redo all my thumbnails um, because I think they're so important. I've been doing um, some of Ed's greatest hit, going back, doing his most viewed video, one of his shoes. Let's have a look. Sure, you don't want to just hear me babble on. Uh... Yeah, small. I'll probably do this on the TV. If you want to see this, I'll, I'll do a breakdown on the Apple TV because you've got a bit more. So this is his most popular uh, video, so I will, um, I'll go through just about that one as well. Um, I haven't done this one. You can see what I mean with the dark. These have to pop on both. That was a good one. That's going really well. 15,000 views in one month. This one is 20,000 in seven. So this one was important to do and we worked hard on this one. We cut everything out, put full send in there, which was on the previous thumbnail. And then, and then this one, again, an old video, 2008. 18, two years ago, but 12K views. So I, I went through the video, I watched the whole video again. I saw this, so I took this screenshot, cut it out, cut, cut it out nicely. The little shoe sniffer there, cut this one out online, found this online, cut this one out. This, this you can't really see it there, but uh, it says uh, Infinito R1, uh, which is the model of physique. So yeah, you can see, uh, yeah, you can see my influence. I did that one, well, I did all of these. He, he did that one, this one here. Not every thumbnail has to be designed. This one, so I sent him this one. We messed up the timing and whatever. It was it, we thought it was Monday. It was Friday in the end. So, so he just clicked in. Um, Jakob Fulsang, I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you can see the level of detail that that Ed's got. <laughs> he hasn't cut out his arm underneath there, so um, he'll be annoyed when he sees this. If Ed wasn't a cyclist, he would be a I don't know if he'd be a graphic designer, but he'd be a, he would be a brand manager or something or a, you know something branding or social media expert because he's he's brilliant. Got these as well that we did again just simple just just you know we did a whole series of these just using this sort of graphic with his brand colors on workout we did cut out a little background with that these are some of the first ones i sort of did he's got a few there again you know this is just a vlog one he's just done a photo that's great so you've got contrast so contrast is important so if every thumbnail was sort of designed like these yeah, they look fantastic, but eventually that one is going to jump out more because it's just clean. And you can see we've done a fair few of those. He's up to 6,400 now. So, so this is where 
These were the old, so there we go, they're, they're like the old thumbnails, obviously the one I replaced and did, but um, you can sort of tell, hopefully, you can sort of tell where I got involved. There's a few of my special ones there. I've got shaky hands, need some caffeine. Um, um, even this one we did, uh, it's been seven weeks, just put his little brand in behind, behind his neck, faded out the edges slightly, blurred out the edges, Charlie's in the back there. It's been seven weeks, do some RGT ones as well. Actually just gone to export these. I've noticed, like, like on the black, this is quite obvious, um, but actually, Actually, to be honest, I quite like that kind of stuff. Brings the eye back into the, you know, pops it back up a bit. I've just noticed this little bit of green. I'll zoom in a bit. Green on the wall. That's the kind of eye for detail that you get when a designer does um, the thumbnail. I that is horrendous. I'm glad I've spotted that because even though it's quite cool, it's just something that's now I've seen it, it's really dragging my eye away from the bike. We've got a special tool here. Sometimes it doesn't work very well due to the software. It's crap, but the let's just try this. I'm probably gonna mess that up. No, so it's not gonna be any good. I'm gonna have to get a bit of, I'll, I'll get a little bit of um, some other wall and I'll crop it in. There we go, all done. Um, there's still a little bit of green colour there, but that's not that sort of spray paint. It's not drawing your eye away, so that would be perfect now. And uh, I'll export these three and send them over. Perfect bike position, so we've got the valves at the bottom. There's another bit of green there, but I'm leaving that. Valves at the bottom, and uh, yeah, nice. It's in a nice gear, it's in a big cog at the front. Uh, maybe they could have been pointing down a bit. I think people do it at three. I like it when it sort of follows that down. I'm no pro, but yeah, what's the betting that we get one idiot go, how are you gonna ride that bike without any pedals on? Well, he's not gonna be riding it anywhere for a bit, so don't worry about the pedals. Nearly a week later, this video hasn't gone up for Phil yet. So we're making some changes. I feel just wants to change the titles. Going from how not to do a new bike day to nightmare new bike day or nightmarish new bike day, new bike nightmare. So new bike nightmare, I think is going to be the final title. So you can see here, we played about with the red up here and put this font in. So that was just what we had before. Doesn't quite work. Trouble is when you put font like that, everyone's gonna think that it's blood almost, which is why I didn't use this one. Um, I haven't even shown Phil that one. It just it doesn't look good, does it? I mean, people will be disappointed they don't see blood or it will put them off because they think there might be blood. And we still don't want to lose the impact of the bike either, so that one might be a bit too much. So we'll have to see which one he goes for. Whichever one he goes for will go into the thumbnail. So you'll, my thumbnail for this video, so you'll see you'll see that. I quite like that. That's nice and clean. It's still got the chunky font, new bike nightmare. Says it all really, just gives them a little lead in. Uh, there's someone a bit bigger there again. Probably too much takes off the bike. So I think I'm leaning towards, I think I'm leaning towards that one. Uh, yeah, it's sort of, you can still get the nice light on the bike. Nightmare's a bit, maybe I should have tweaked, I've, I've sent them now, so tweak that up a bit. I didn't want to cover over the Dura Race. Or oh, that one, I really probably like that one. Um, again, subtle, when it's going to be small, it's going to be quite small on a phone when you're watching it. And it's just, still want the new bike to be the main focus of these thumbnails, so. Hopefully this gives you a little insight into what actually goes into making the thumbs. It, it's so important. Any YouTube video you watch will just say how important it is, really. If no one's clicking, you can be as good as you want at SEO, right? Write your titles, write your descriptions. If no one's clicking on that thumbnail, then you're not getting that interaction. So the, the SEO is pointless, really, because your click-through rate is super important. So yes, that's why we spend hours doing thumbnails now. Now I'm, now I'm a thumbnail designer. So hope you like the video. Hope you like that video. That was a little bit of a insight into. Um, so yeah, that's a little insight into the thought behind thumbnail. If you want a full breakdown, uh, I'll do a full breakdown from start to scratch if you want. Like everything with YouTube, lots more effort goes into it than it looks. Some of my thumbnails, we'll do we'll do a start to finish on one of my thumbnails from when I come in from a cycle ride, get changed, get showered, forget I haven't done a thumbnail, get changed back into my smelly gear, go outside, forget I haven't got a card in the, in the camera, ask Nat to do the photo, I pull a face up. So I'm there like this normally, going, or something here, going, okay, Nat, take the, take, well, not in character, I'm, take the photo. And she's like laughing ahead. <laughs> and I'm like going, take the photo, and I'm cramping up, and my neck will cramp, and I'm like, ah! So sometimes when my photos, sometimes when my uh, my thumbnails are the best, it's when I've got cramp or, or my face cramping up or, or spasming because it's like, it's so funny. I should vlog that bit really because um, again, then I'll have to cut them all out, choose which one's best, usually choose which one isn't blurry, cut them all out, put them on the background. Uh, you know, and I'm trying to work out what's going to have the biggest impact. Sometimes it's not the best photo. Uh, it's those little ones that might be a little bit blurry that have just got a cracking, just, you know, me even just got going... Um, yeah, I'll clip in a, a clip of 
I'll pop in. So what you're looking at now is is just a couple of, you know, some of the shots we get. Uh, I try and get loads just in case they are blurry or, or I'm looking the wrong way or there's just so Nat does those for me. So yeah, and now you can see why that's just a little insight insight into my brain when I'm designing the thumbnail. So that's not to say it's the right way or the way I work. It's just to give you a little insight into that and, and the thinking behind it, trying to get more people to click. So put some thought into them, it's super important. Just Google it, you know how important it is. Um, I'll just kick the light. So if you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. Just drop a comment below and just say, that was better than the normal crap that's on this channel. Any questions, I'll try. Yeah, let me know, I'll treat this as an FAQ and I'll try and do another video. Yeah, so if you wanna, hope they should be both up. So hopefully, um, go over here for fills and we'll go over here for ads. Go and watch them. Go and get, leave a comment, say that I sent you and you love the thumbnails, because that really helped me out. Uh, somehow, I don't know, but it will.